Miley Cyrus. Demi Lovato. <laughs> I was going to start off a subject with Miley Cyrus, but I guess it's Demi Lovato now. No. Miley Cyrus. <laughs> well, I you love your new haircut. We'll do That's exactly what I was thinking of. Like, no lie. I was just about to compliment her. Everybody like, makes fun of her haircut. Like, nobody likes Miley. Everybody's like, ooh, your hair's all retarded now. And it's like she gave it to Cherry for one. And for two, she's doing it for like something my sister read online said it's like she's also doing it not only because she, she gave does it away, a lot of charity. She gave it away for charity, but she said she's also doing it to like support gay and lesbian like like relationships. Right. Yeah. She does a lot of charities, guys. And like people make fun of her and I have to say I don't know her. I've never met her. I've talked to her once. And that's because my friend, she um she lives in California. Her name's Julia Cyrus. She's actually Miley's cousin, and she stayed with Miley for about a week ago, and, uh, well, I don't know if it's been a week, but it's been longer than a week, but I'm not going to tell you the exact date. I'm not that stupid, but, um, she hung up, she hung out with her cousin, and, um, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe all the hate Miley gets, and nobody knows her like that. Oh, I got it. Oh. <laughs> but, guys, don't pick on... Oh. <laughs> Miley, we love you. We love you, Miley, girl. Miley, no, I'm not laughing because of her. She's laughing because of uh, something I said earlier. No. Because <laughs> so, I'm so sticky. <laughs> Randomly. But, it's not as bad as like, <laughs> Random. Okay. But, um, <laughs> she just wants an excuse to spray her perfume. But, um, no, but for real though, Miley, we love you, girl. Um. <laughs> I, I really do want to come down and meet you and she's crazy so uh we'll keep her away from you okay. wait you talked to her too didn't you yeah she talked to Miley once she, um she told me to follow my dreams she tells everybody that but then she was like talking to me because I told her about I want to go to fashion school and stuff like that no and then she no was, location and then I told I told her like how I want I can't wait for her music to come out and her movies and she was like are you seeing my new movie and I was like yeah Oh my god. I you guys see have that. to see LOL. It was like my favorite movie I've seen in forever. I didn't get to see it. I want to see it though. So good. Oh my god. The ending is adorable. And she's so like amazing in it. I was like, oh my god. Like I was like, I was like, I don't even know. My mom and me were at Redbox and I was like, I don't even know what this movie's about. But I'm going to get it. I was like, because Molly Cyrus is in it. Yes. And then it was like amazing. And I was like, oh my god. I love this movie. I watched it three times before I returned it. I love how this video is supposed to be multiple subjects and it oh Demi Lovato <laughs> it's all on Miley and Demi you're gorgeous Demi yes Demi stay strong I love your tattoos I'm gonna get them just like I you I wanna get stay strong Wait. and then I want that she also has faith like right here yeah and I like, wanna get it too me too like like it's weird cause like we're not we're not copying one of each other we're not copying Demi well we're kinda like doing Demi but like we're a good cause like we're not copycats but we were sitting on the front porch one day and um we're sitting there, and I'm like, I love Demi Lovato. And I was so afraid to tell her that, because most people and make I fun made, of people. And I told her that I want to get Stay Strong tattoos, and I said that everybody should get the Stay Strong tattoos. And even if they're just, like, the ta the ones like, that come off. Like, like, they should make something removable. that you can removable. But, like, like, so that people can wear them against bullying and stuff. Exactly. And what's weird was I was just thinking, like, I would love to get that tattoo. And I came around, I'm like, well, not, not to be like, we like you, because um, we had that thing where, like, we're best friends. We were known to be twins at some points by random people we don't know. But, um, like, we think it's it, it's good to be alike in some way, but we also feel we have to be different. Like, she knows music I don't, and she, I know music she doesn't. And that's great. Like, we both love Miley. We both love Demi. Great. Selena Gomez. Yeah, I love you her, You and too. Justin Bieber, stay strong. <gasps> everyone, says, everyone says that you guys are ugly together and that he needs to find a new They're girlfriend. haters. And that um that he's using her as a cover because he's gay. I don't like some of his music. I do like some, but and I love her music. And I don't like. I'm not saying I don't like Justin no Bieber. No hate. No hate. I'm not saying I don't like Justin Bieber. These are, but I like them together. Yes, they're cute together. Even if I didn't like one of them, which I don't, I think they're good together. I want to make a point. Another point. Like I think I'm being like really loud right now, <laughs> but um. No, but this video is gonna be like eight minutes long. I know it's five minutes already. <laughs> but like people, like oh you don't like Justin Bieber's music? Oh you hate him? You hate him? Like no, that doesn't like 
Justin Bieber is a human being. Believe it or not, it might be hard to believe because he's on TV, but he is. <clears throat> so is Demi, Miley, Akon, Chris Brown, right on. Like, all of them people. I read this story about Justin Bieber. I wanted to say this because I saw it on the internet, and it was, like, on the news and stuff, too, like, a long time ago, I guess. But they're all humans, but, just to say. um, it was, like, this story about how this girl, this younger girl, went to one of Justin Bieber's concerts, I guess. Oh, this and, is sad. And she got raped after leaving the concert, I guess. And, like, he found out about it because it was, like, in the news or something. And then, like, he met with her and he, like, talked with her and he told her that he was sorry. And he's paying for all the therapy. And, like, yeah, and he's paying for her therapy to go, of going through it. And there was, like, a picture of them, like, they were, like, he was, like, hugging They her. were both crying. He was, like, hugging her and, like, he, she was crying and he was crying. And on Facebook it was, like, if you don't respect Justin Bieber, respect them now. And I was, and I kind like, of, I earned, earned a little respect for him. I was, like, wow. Well, they said, they could, no, because they said, like, like, I don't know if it's the same exact thing. Yeah. But, like, there was, like, many posts. Like, the post that I read was, like, well, he might, you guys might think not, he might not be a man, but he is now. And, like, yeah. all this. Like, and I, I'm not gonna lie. I have a big heart, so I cried when I read that. Yeah, it was pretty. I was, like, wow. Like, no one deserves to be raped. Let alone, and I think, I'm not jealous of this girl. Because she deserves a little happiness considering what happened. Mm -hmm. what the, I don't know if that came out right. But, like, what I'm saying is rape victims are scarred and for life. And Justin Bieber didn't have to do that. He didn't have to like, pay all. for her therapy. He didn't have to meet with her. He could have been like, oh, she was raped after my concert. What's that have to do Big with deal. me? Big deal. Like, but, like, that has nothing to do with me. But no, he came to her and he talked to her and he said, oh, I don't think that what happened to you was right. I'm paying for your therapy. It was uh, nice. That's another thing. Like, people think, like, it's no big deal if you get raped. And that's a big deal. Yeah. Like, people, like, like, I'm not saying they think it's completely stupid. And sometimes... But it just... Sometimes people who are raped, girls, like, sometimes they end up pregnant. And they have exactly. a baby of a rape. And every day... At a A baby should be cherished. And every day, they'll look at their baby, and it'll be a reminder of the rape. And sometimes they put it up for adoption. Just so they don't remember. Yeah. And it's horrible. And, and this... It's not their fault, but, yes. But they, they don't want to remember their being with that any day of their life and looking exactly. at their baby is like remembering it every day so but this video is like eight minutes long like she said earlier <laughs> yeah but um like i don't mean to cut the, like we're probably gonna make like, six more videos tonight <laughs> we'll probably make more conversation <laughs> but um we anyway lots of conversations mm -hmm. and it's uh, it's early yet is it i don't know i don't know what time it is but i think it's early but um it it's early for us <laughs> yeah I never go to sleep. <laughs> but, um, like I said, thank you guys for watching if you watched it through. And please like and subscribe. I think it's up there still. YouTube's done so much. Like it down there and subscribe up there. And, um, comment. What are your opinions? What do you feel about Justin Bieber? Demi Lovato. Selena Gomez. Even, like, Taylor Swift and anybody else. Yeah, like, just comment your feelings. We're all open for that. And also, what do you, what would you have done if you were in Justin's shoes with the rape? What was that girl who got raped? My bad, I'm sorry, I said that one. But um, thank you for watching. Good day.